Number 20. 10 points. The photoresistor in the circuit to the right has a resistance of 2.2 kilo ohms when it is exposed to light from a window. What is the voltage value on the analog input pin for that level of brightness? Show the calculations. Let's zoom in for a bit. Have a look at this circuit. So we want to know what is the analog input pin. V equals question mark here. And we'll let's call this V in. Um, let's call this actually. Let's call this V out of the voltage divider, and let's call this equals V in of the voltage divider. So we get five volts come in. That's the power to this sensor, basically the overall voltage. There's a fixed resistor here, and uh, the pin, the analog input pin, is measuring the, the voltage at the point between the fixed resistor and the photoresistor. Uh, if you consult your notes, we actually normally put this fixed resistor on the bottom, and that's so that increasing light levels, which decreases the resistance, causes an increasing voltage out here. So this is an upside down circuit. It's a perfectly valid circuit but the relationship between V out and V in is inversely related to the light intensity. Nonetheless, we know we're given this. We're not asked to solve anything. We're for the, about the value of this resistance. We're given this value. So this is 2.2 ohms. So to keep things clean, I'm going to call this R1 and R2. And then we'll do our analysis with symbols and we can check our work that way. So I'll redraw this voltage divider. Vn is what's supplied. We have two resistances, two resistors. And V out is measured here. R1 and R2 are here. And the formula, this is something you should just have memorized. V out over Vn. V out is the voltage across these this uh, lower resistance here. This formula for voltage divider is R1 plus R2. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'll derive that in a bit, but we just take this as known. You should know this. The voltage divider output is the resistance of the lower resistor divided by the total resistance. That ratio is V out over V in. So we're given that R2 is 2.2 kilo ohms. The uh, drawing says that R1 is 10k ohms. So 2.2, 10 plus 2.2 kilo ohms. So it's 2.2 divided by 12. We do the uh, analysis, do punch it into the calculator, we get 0 0.1083. So V out is equal to, V out is equal to 0.1803. 3 times V in. V in is 5. This is 0 0.1803 times 5 volts or 0 0.9016. So the V out is, we'll round that to a reasonable number of digits, 0 0.9. Really it's two digits would be good because these numbers are all given to two digits so I'll call it we carry, we carry extra digits in the intermediate results because we don't want rounding errors to artificially influence our result. The rounding errors are incidental. I mean, they're, they're, they're mathematical uh, behavior of the calculations, not of the physics. We should know the formula for a voltage divider here, right? but I'm going to just derive it really quickly in case you need to remember this. It's not too hard. I'll redraw this again. V in supplies power to this circuit and we've got R1 and we've got R2 and we're coming off V out which is the voltage across the bottom. Now the current is the same through both of these resistors. 
that's important. They're connected in series. We're measuring V out, but there's no current flowing. So if we if we touch uh, a, uh, a probe lead here, we have to touch the right kind of probe lead. Voltage probes uh, are characterized by what are called infinite impedance. It means that uh, if I were to touch a voltage, I have one here. If I were to connect my circuit, my, my measurement circuit here, I would be using probes that themselves are connected to something electrically, but effectively the resistance in the probes is said to be infinite, so that no current, we can measure a voltage difference without drawing current through the probes themselves. So I can look at V out here without worrying about the current flow into that branch. Well, let's write uh, Kirchhoff's law for this whole circuit. Vn is equal to V1 plus V2, where V1 and V2 are the voltages across these two resistors. We can replace v in, uh, V1 and V2 by uh, Ohm's law statement. This is equal to I times R1 plus I times R2. It's the same current in both because, as we said, the current flows through them and not out the measurement branch. V out is I times R2. All we have to do now is take the ratio of these. V out divided by V in is equal to I times R2 divided by I times R1 plus I times R2. The I's cancel V out over V in equals R2, R1 plus R2. And that's it.